I've gotten a lot of questions lately concerning punch in and punch out points in Cubase. So let's go ahead and take a look at some tips and tricks. A punch in is a way to automatically record enable a selected track at a specific point in time. And the punch out allows you to record disable on the track at a selected time. And this is really ideal if you're doing something like a vocal and needed to replace one single word or small portion, you could punch in just on that selected range without affecting the previous recording or the recording subsequent to the punch out. So when we want to activate punch in and punch out in Cubase, we could do it on our main transport bar with these two icons here. Or you could hit the letter I for punch in or O for punch out. For the longest time, Cubase had the paradigm of setting the punch in and punch out points based on the left and right locators. So, and we could still work that way. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm gonna have this track selected and record enabled. And now as we play, we'll get to the left locator, punches in to record. And when we get to the right locator, Right over here at this point it'll just punch out and stop recording so that seems very easy but sometimes you may want to do something like a cycle record and let's say if the performer wanted a little bit of music as context before and a little bit after and but we still wanted it to cycle so if I move my cursor up here we see it turn into a hand and I could click and this will turn this color indicating that the cycle is now active and what I want to do is to activate punch points and punch points we could actually turn on directly here on the transport bar so if we go just to the right of the punch in and punch out we currently have our punch in and punch out locked to the left and right locator. If I take this little padlock and turn it off, we can just simply have the punch in and punch out independent of the loop. And we could also do this in our transport menu. So we see punch points here. So here I could click and I could lock it, or we could out actually just kind of input our punch in position and our punch out position. What I like to do is to just simply use my range selection tool and I could select a range here go to the transport menu and I have a keyboard shortcut set up for it on my computer but I'll just show you how to do it so we'll go to our punch points and I'll say set punch points to the selection range and now we see these little red icons and this now indicates where it's going to punch in and punch out and our left and right locators are for cycling. So let's go ahead and set this up. So punch in and punch out are activated by hitting I and O. We'll hit record. So we'll go into our cycle. We're gonna see a punch directly at that position, our punch in point and our punch out point. And now we can have it go to the end of the cycle and have it do the same process again. We'll start to cycle one more time. So you can see whether you're doing MIDI or audio, if you want to have the punch tied directly to the left and right locator, you could still do that. Or if you wanted more flexibility, you could use the punch points to have independent punch in and punch out of the cycle locators. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.